Plastic is all around us. We have plastic bottles, bags, spoons, and even plastic people. As of today, we have produced nearly 9 billion tons of plastic stuff globally since the invention of plastic. Plastics are literally killing the oceans, and we are aware of its effects on marine species. The issue of plastic pollution has rightfully gathered global attention, and it needs global solutions. There is an old Native American quote which states, What we do to the earth, we do to ourselves. You see, plastics are not just polluting the oceans or the environment, they are also polluting our own bodies. There is strong evidence to conclude that we are consuming microplastics on a daily basis from various sources like table salt, honey, and even drinking water. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic smaller than 5 millimeters in length. They come in various shapes such as films, pellets, and filaments, and can be microscopic in nature. While there is no conclusive evidence yet to suggest that they are harmful to our health, it is speculated that microplastics can possibly cause cancer. Certain types of plastics also have chemicals like phthalates, BPA and BPS which disrupt our endocrine system as they mimic sex hormones. In a nutshell, plastics can be hazardous to our health. Microplastic pollution is extremely pervasive and it's going to be ultra difficult to solve this problem. We can reduce eating and drinking from all plastic stuff to prevent further damage and wear organic cotton or hemp clothes. Approximately 8 million tons of plastic waste flows into the oceans every single year. Most of this plastic breaks down into tiny microplastics and is collected in circular ocean currents called gyres. The most famous one is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the North Pacific Gyre, which is estimated to be larger than the state of Texas. This pollution is not visible to the naked eye for the most part, and not all countries contribute evenly to plastic pollution. While the largest consumers of plastic on a per capita or per person basis are mainly Western countries headed by the US and Germany as shown in the map below. Almost 90% of the plastic waste flowing into the oceans comes from just 10 rivers in Southeast Asia and Africa. This is mainly due to the lack of waste management infrastructure and poor management strategies in general. But it would be wrong to simply blame them. These countries have emulated a pattern of Western development that has led to economic growth, but at the same time environmental destruction. And the waste infrastructure management could not keep up with this rapid pace of development. Furthermore, part of the waste management strategies of countries like the US and UK involve shipping their waste to other poorer countries. Recently, China banned it, but now it's Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, and even India. Let's visit one of the largest cities in Southeast Asia to get a closer look at this issue. Welcome again to the coastal city of Mumbai, home to some of the cleanest and most pristine beaches of the world. Well, almost. These are some dirty beaches. Being a bustling metropolitan city comprising of more than 20 million people, Mumbai generates 7,700 tons of waste per day, out of which 700 tons is plastic waste alone. This fact combined with improper waste management makes for scenes like these being common throughout the city especially in its beaches. To see how this waste management in Mumbai is done, I visited two dump yards or landfills in the city. I was quite sad to see that they are open dumps so there is no real waste treatment. This means that even if we throw our waste in a dustbin in Mumbai, chances are it's going to end up in a landfill like this. While this is slightly better than garbage on the streets or in the oceans, the workers in the landfills have lack of good sanitary protection so they face severe health hazards. This is also a social justice issue because jobs like this are being justified for creating and dumping our waste in landfills. Despite the overwhelming amount of plastic on the beaches, a team of dedicated volunteers led by Afroz Shah is helping to restore these beaches. He's the man in the middle of this picture. You may have heard of him in the news. He conducted the largest beach cleanup ever in Bursova, Mumbai and cleaned millions of pounds of waste and it is so clean now that the endangered olive ridley turtles made a return to their original habitat. This was done with the help of a few hundred volunteers spending just two to three hours a week consistently. Now the team is restoring another beach and I have had the pleasure of helping them out. These positive stories give us hope in times of destruction. So there is no way when we throw our garbage away. There is just no way. Ends up somewhere on the earth. Even today, people have a habit of throwing trash on the streets 
especially in Mumbai. Although this is gradually changing, there's a lot of work to be done. The other great thing is that this entire state of Maharashtra has a ban on most single-use plastics now, but the major problem is plastic packaging of most store-bought products. However, the long-term solution to plastic pollution is reducing waste and truly moving from a linear system that makes and disposes products to a circular economy that reuses and recycles materials. As individuals, we can do multiple things to accelerate this transition to a circular economy so that zero waste is generated. Here are some steps which I have taken to reduce plastic waste, and you can easily implement them in your life. Firstly, I just buy less stuff in general. This is easy for, for me because I really hate shopping. But the key thing for buying is asking the question to myself, do I really, I mean really, need this product? And most of the time the answer is, is no. Secondly, I carry my own reusable items wherever I go. This means I carry my own reusable bottle, reusable cutlery, and reusable bag to most places I visit. This may not always be practical, but it's a really good step and now I can't get out of it because it's a habit. Thirdly, I eat less processed foods which come with plastic packaging. This means I eat less biscuits, eat less chips, desserts, etc. At times, buying them can be unavoidable, especially if you live in a big city like Mumbai. Stores almost always have something in plastic packaging and it's, it's not always easy to avoid that. But I found that eating less processed foods has directly benefited my health and I feel better on a mental and physical level. And from my experience, I've noticed a pattern that what is generally good for your body is good for the planet also. Fourthly, I have hosted and participated in cleanup efforts to restore ecosystems. This might be a temporary solution because cleanups are a band-aid solution. However, cleanups do make a difference because when people participate, they realize the magnitude of plastic pollution and they might take steps to reduce plastic in their own lives. So doing cleanups and just helping out is, is a really good way to help the earth. So check in your locality to see where the cleanups are happening and try to help out if you can. Finally, here's a step which will make the most impact. I've previously tried contacting my local politicians and emailed or called local businesses to reduce plastic consumption. Now, I've not always received a reply, but I have received some replies and they have turned out to be positive because it shows that I as a consumer or I as a citizen care enough to reduce plastic and, you know, I'm emotionally invested in this issue. So if you act in your community by contacting politicians and businesses or even changing practices in your own workplace or institutions, you can make a drastic difference when compared to simple individual actions. So these are the five steps which I took in my life to help solve this issue on my end. But I can only do so much. The earth needs our help. It needs your help. She's calling upon you to act in a way that cares for her. So please check out the links below in the description to see how and where you can act and put your resources to solve plastic pollution. This is an issue that needs everyone, everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Please comment below on other ideas on how to reduce plastics and what you might be doing, which, which I haven't talked about, to reduce plastic pollution. So please share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button below for more videos on environmental topics. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.